Hello everyone, if you are managing a project and you need to choose a supplier based on various factors such as cost, service, risk, quality, etc. then you know how important it is to use a weighted model. A weighted model can be used to manage a certain project, employee performance evaluation and college admissions. But here you can do this within a click. So, this is Jihad Riyan Jim from Excel Demi and today we'll learn several examples of how to create a weighted scoring model in Excel. For this tutorial, we'll be using four examples to describe how to create a weighted scoring model in Excel. Here, we'll be using best location, rank, priority and weighted average for our examples. So we'll be using Microsoft Excel 365 to describe the whole examples. So without any further discussion, let's get started. In our first example, we want to choose the best location by creating a weighted scoring model in Excel. To do that, at first we have the criteria and weightage of every criteria and locations in column B, C, D, E, and F. Here we have marked the score of locations from 1 to 5. Now our target is to create a weighted scoring model by using this data set. To do that, we'll be using the sum product function. We'll first go to the D11 cell and insert the sum product function. The sum product function basically returns the sum of the products of the corresponding ranges or arrays. So select our first array which is in this case D6 to D10. Now we'll go for our next array by which we want to multiply the cell. We'll select C6 to C10 and to make it permanent we'll use F4 in the keyboard. After that we'll divide the whole sum product by using the sum function. The sum function literally adds all the selected cells. So I will go for the C6 to C10 cell and now we'll make it permanent by using F4 in the keyboard. If we click the enter button, then we'll get our perfect weighted average for the D11 cell. We can drag the formula from left to right to get result for every cell. So that's how we can easily get the weighted average by using the sum product and sum functions. Now the location A have weighted average of 3.53, location B have 3.42 and location C have 2.97. Among these three locations, the highest weighted average is for the location A. So it is the best location in our data set. So that's how we can easily use weighted average to choose the best location in Excel. Now we want to design a weighted scoring model to rank the employees. At first, we have the criteria, their weightage, and the name of the employees and their scores in column B, C, D, E, and F. We have total weighted percent of best and rank in the B11, 12, 13, and 14 cell. We'll be using some some product max and rank functions to rank the employees. So at first we'll be going at the D11 cell and we'll insert the sum function to sum all the values here. We'll select the D6 to D9 to get the result for the first employee Mike. We'll drag down the formula from left to right to get the same total number for Tom and John in the E11 and F11 cell. Next, we'll move on to the weighted section. Here, we'll be using the sum product. So, we'll write down the sum product function, which basically returns the sum of the products of corresponding ranges or arrays. We'll select our first array here, which is in this case from D6 to D9. In our next section, we'll go for the weight, which is in this case C6 to C9. And to make it permanent, we'll be using F4 in the keyboard. If we click the enter button, we'll get our perfect weightage here. Now, drag down the formula from left to right to get result for the three employees. Now, we'll be moving for our D12 
13 cell will use first select the d12 weighted section and divide it with the max function the max function returns the largest value in a set of values so we'll select the values here which is in this case d12 to f12 and make it permanent by using f4 in the keyboard now we'll click the enter button to get the percentage of best here drag down the formula from left to right to get result by using the weighted section after that we're going to our last section in the last section we'll be using the rank function so we'll go to the d14 cell and insert the rank function the rank function is the rank that we want to get the result for and now we'll be selecting the d13 and as our first number and going for the reference which is in this case from d13 to f13 and make it permanent by using f4 in the keyboard if we click the enter button we're getting the rank here drag down the formula from left to right to get the three ranks according to your wish as the highest weighted have the tom employee so he has got the rank one who has got next value has got the second rank and the lowest rank has got the john three rank so that's how we can easily rank employees by using weighted scoring model in excel now we want to determine the highest priority by using a weighted scoring model in excel to do that we have criteria their weightage and requirement scores in between 1 to 100 of xyz in column b c d e and f our target is to get the weighted average in the row 11 at first we'll be going to the d11 cell to insert the sum product and sum function so at first we'll insert the sum product to return the sum of the value of the corresponding ranges or arrays at first we'll be selecting our first array which is in this case d6 to d10 now for the second array we'll be selecting c6 to c10 and make it permanent by using f4 in the keyboard after that we'll divide it, it by the sum function so write down the sum function to sum up all the numbers of the selected cells we'll select c6 to c10 in this case and make it permanent by using f4 in the keyboard if we click the enter button we'll get our perfect weightage in the d11 cell now track down the formula from left to right to get result for the weighted average for every cell let's talk about the result a bit here the weighted average of z has the highest value but where the value of the x has the lowest weighted average so the highest priority will be given on the z and lowest priority will be given on x so that's how you can easily determine the highest priority by using a weighted scoring model in excel we'll try to find weighted average by creating a scoring model in excel to do that at first we have the criteria weight scores in column b c and d our target is to create a weighted average in the b13 cell so we'll go to the b13 cell and insert the sum product here the sum product is used to return the value of certain products of corresponding ranges or arrays so we'll be selecting our first array which is in this case d5 to d10 for the next array we'll be selecting c5 to c10 and after that we'll divide it by using the sum function which basically adds all the number in a range of cells so select the range of cells of c5 to c10 if we click the enter button then we'll get our perfect weighted average in the d13 cell so that's it for today you can use any of these examples accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below hope this will help you if you have any questions suggestions or feedback please let us know in the comment section or you can have a glance at exceldemy.com thanks for watching us if you like this video please consider subscribing for more content like this